good afternoon and welcome back to the second part of uh, today's session uh, myself uh, kaumudi uh, project manager from animation and design team and here are my colleagues nitin and sneha uh, basically we work uh, here uh, for we create animations for um, e learning or we say educations and we create animations basically related to the education portion and uh, nitin and sneha will explain you briefly about uh, how we create them and where and why we uh, create animations in education so i will basically hand over to nitin to explain you in details nitin in, is working here from 4 uh, to 5 years he has experience of 4 to 5 years and even sneha is one of our best animators who work in 3d animation and she is also uh, has 4 to 5 years of experience so i will hand over to nitin thank you hello uh, today we'll be seeing how and how animation education animation can be created and whatever some of the animation which we have created so far in past 2 3 years of our experience the question is animation why and where we need the animation we cannot just create the animation and use it into every concept which you want to like like for a teacher's point of view the teacher want to explain every concept briefly and well so student can understand in more presentable way or the teachers can explain more easily and uh, student can understand more better the question from an animator point of view or from an uh, designer or animator point of view why and where we need the animation actually so one concept we can see is if the concept can be visualized or can be seen by naked eye let's say for an example if i want to uh, this is a cross section of an eye for an example if i want to visualize the cross section of an eye i cannot visualize directly okay what is the internal structure of eye how many parts are there what are the lenses and how the internal working of eye is happening until is that some visual is presented to me i can read it in a textbook and can understand but animation if here i introduce the animation it just smoothes out the process of understanding so it's a better to, for the student to understand and for a teacher to explain similar way if there is a historical place like this so how it was in the earlier we cannot see right now because this kind of historical places are in ruins right now and to we can recreate it we cannot click some photographs and can imagine that this was used to be look like this this kind of process where we require animation or some graphical uh, alternative similar like atoms for a chemistry or anything we can see the atomic structures we can say h2o or co2 but we cannot directly say the h2o will look like this or co2 will have 180 degree of angles and everything we can mention it but to visualize that for student it would be rather difficult the second point which i would like to say is a cameras cameras cannot reach if one animation if i want to create an animation i would rather create an animation i would say i'll create a video for example if i want to display the gravitational force a bouncing ball if i just drop a ball it will bounce any anything which falls from height it will go down that's a normal concept of gravitation to display that i want create an animation i would rather simply just give a camera from a camera person and i'll drop a ball and i can shoot to create a video so video would be a much faster and better approach rather than creating animation so the question is why and where the animation is required there is a must important before creating and deciding creating animation there is a must question we need to ask before we start creating any animation because animation is a long and lengthy process it requires a much larger team of skilled people animators and the subject matter expert who understand the subject much better that this is how the concept will be visualized we can see it on paper in text 
but to visualize into a video or in graphical representation that requires much better skills and to explain them to a some expert like sneha who are animators who create the animations it requires a much uh, understanding of the subject as well so this is what some of the animation which we had created this was one of the animation which we had created uh, dumbo like we can see it's a animated a conceptual character which helps uh, one of them may be created for fatak sir for cs101 his cs101 lecture which represents the computer programming internal working of computer this is a fictional character which has been thought by fatak sir himself and we have animated it which explains the summation of a program so this kind of thought process also goes into while creating animation what we need to animate currently we have animated the concept of physics chemistry biology history for physics like rutherford experiment archimedes experiment this kind of for chemistry single replacement reaction those couple of chemical reactions atoms you have seen like that for biology we had created the working of heart the internal structure of eye working of eye and the internal structure and working how sound propagates through uh, different parts of the ear and for computer science we have created for fatak sir this uh, dumbo animation and who all are we we are design animation team from iit bombay and the steps which are involved is uh, the artist which we required is storyboard artist the ones the subject matter expert like teachers you all are have something concept in mind the storyboard artist pans out the story how it is created animator is the one who actually does the animation and compositor is the who on the combine everything sound video and gives the final output this are some list of animation which i just mentioned you right now which we have created you can all this are in open source right now in youtube and, and upload it on a website you can download it and view it let's just see some animation so here which we are explaining the disappearing of one layer i has a three different layer we disappear each layer one by one the text part which is coming at the bottom which explain which part is a different functionality and now we can see the cross section like earlier we were round eyeball now we have a cross section it will explain the different layers of the eye so how the light the eye pupil reacts when the light if the there is a increase in intensity of light and decrease in intensity of light how the eye pupil contracts and reduces the size and how the image is formed on the retina of the eye
So, one more we would like to show is the other for experiment. So, one was from a biology department, one is for this is from the physics. The concept behind for this experiment to do is this experiment cannot be done in a normal physics lab. For this, the how cathode uh, this uh, emitter emits the light. Uh, the rays and how it electrons get stripped from the uh, this uh, barriers and when it hits the gold foil how the it disperse into different rays and why it does that this to explain it cannot be seen by naked eye it cannot we cannot this even experiment in a normal physics school labs. And actually this is what happens when the alpha particle it, it hits the nucleus and it rebounds back and it scatters. So, all these animations which we have two of animation which we have seen this has been created using blender. Blender is a 3D open source software and synfig is for 2D. Both are open source and free can be available for all Linux, Mac and Windows operating system. Now for the next part I will ask Sneha to brief you about how the animations have been created, what are the steps involved to create the animation. Ok, like uh, Nitin uh, had already shown you some animations, now I am going to uh, tell you the process how to create the animations, ok to how, how the animations are created. Uh, these are some steps to create the animations, the process. First is instructional design document, second is storyboard, third is animation, then compositing. Now I am going to tell you all the steps in details. For instructional design, we have already ready format. Instructional design template is, uh, we get this template from uh, subject matter expert like professors and teachers. They provide us this uh, template. Uh, this template has uh, all the instruction to how, how they want to create the animations, like learning objectives. They give such kind of instruction how to create the animations. You can see the descriptions. A description will help to uh, animators to create the animations. Then with animation, uh, which audio should come. So, the subject matter uh, expert tell us which audio narration should come with which animation steps, also which text to be uh, displayed on the screen. Uh, for example, they want uh, text appear one by one or uh, text should become directly with the images. So, they give us instruction how they want to create the animation. Uh, for example, this is I animation IDD instructional design template. They have given uh, some references like uh, video links and images. They provide us uh, references. With those references, we create the animation. In your case, who, who made this instructional design for people? Professor or uh, teachers provide us oh, the... Uh, for that, we had a uh, SME, uh, Chandrani Das Gupta. We were appointed for the creating this animation. Uh, she uh, herself had uh, this created the design. So, what was the debate that goes on? Yes. While, well, for instance, you were able to show that there is a constriction of the pupil. Yes, sir. Yes. But you weren't able to reduce the light and show a dilation of the pupil. Yes, sir. Perfect. So, obviously, the SME did not give you that input and therefore that never got into the Yes. Uh, so I am trying to figure out, huh. taken an, it's been a good process. There has to be a debate on what is being shown, why yes. is it being shown, yes. what will it communicate uh, to somebody. What instructional design is all Yes, sir. About. That is the purpose of the instructional design because the animator, as from our part, we are not the expert subject on the subject. Matter, we, yes, uh, That's why I'm trying to figure yes, out sir. what was the process. Process. See, if you appoint somebody as a subject expert, and yes. that person gives you something, 
it becomes sacred. Yes. Okay, you have to accept it. Yes, sir. But you see, you can put in a process into it. Yes, sir. It's into a debate. It argues on what should be done, what should not be done. Uh, sir, the process which we follow is that once the extension design come to us, we have to first create the. That is the next she is explaining. That we create the sketches. With Haan. visualization yes. part. Yes. Haan. For each. Before the visualization yes. part, there is a content. Yes. And that content, when you say it is mapped to a ninth standard physics part. Yes. There is a ninth standard student in mind. Hmm. Yes. There are certain questions that the ninth standard student wants to raise. Hmm. There are ways in which that can be explained to a 14 year old, 15 year old child. Yes. Okay. All that is a part of the instructional design. Unfortunately, that is being assumed. Sir, uh, uh, this sir, is depend on uh, professor how they want to. Uh, <laughs> sir, for this, <laughs> sir, for this, we had the three teachers from the KV school, the Kendra Vidyalaya at IIT Bombay had also contributed for the same, and the, with the help of them and the SAB who wrote the IDE design. We take the reviews from different different subject ex experts. Expert. So the three teachers of physics department <coughs> teacher from K Kendra Vidyalaya and from the campus school here. They uh, gave us the feedback for this, and accordingly we make the all the changes. Yes. Okay. okay. Then with uh, with the uh, template we uh, create the sketches. The I am uh, visualizing the three D part of the model. So we make all the sketches to make the animations. Then we create the model in software. Then uh, after creating the model. We uh, directly give this uh, give this to review to subject matter expert. The proportion of the model is proper or not, or they want some changes, some changes in uh, uh, portion proportion. So we make all the changes. When they approve the model, then we start the animation. Okay. After animation in compositing, we uh, add the text and audio with the animations. So visual part, the text should be appear on the animation. So we uh, did all the composing, uh, compositing in uh, compositing software. Now I'm going to show you one animation of year. Like this, uh, in which part they want to appear the text on the uh, model. This is the canal. then internal parts of the ears detail view of the all the models This is the outer ear, middle ear. This we cannot uh, able to see with the naked eyes. So that's why we are making the animations, which you are not able to see. We make the in 3D. What are the I have done the animation, modeling, lighting, texturing, all the animation. Why do you call it an animation? Uh, because this is the process. Okay. Uh, when uh, professors and uh, give us the template. Well, a couple of more frames. <laughs> you want to see? Okay. Uh, now the sound waves is traveling through uh, through the ear, with the canal. Now they are hammering on the hammer. Now this process will happen in in a part of the ears. How the sound travels through the ear. Now, may I ask, when, when you were doing this part of the animation, yes. you had an understanding of what must happen? Did yeah, that's why that I have done the sketches and uh, take, taken the review from the subject matter expert that uh, which model I'm making, is it correct or not? Because I'm not the subject matter expert. Okay. I need the help of the... I have, uh, I have a humble suggestion. Yeah. You are not a subject expert on the statement. Yes. Don't allow the subject matter expert to bully you, to tell you 
what to do. Okay. Will you understand what you are doing? Okay. 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 You look at the way your hammer was oscillating. Yes. Every single wave front which came. Yes. There was a pulse. Yes. When if it you will. If you getting pulses into your ears, you won't be able to hear anything. Can we hear the sound with the animation? Mm. Uh, we have. Uh, we are not talking animation here. We are talking subject. Okay. You hear, mm. and you hear a very complex set of sounds which come. Yes. And you are able to discern between them. Yes. To differentiate between them. So obviously, one wave front coming like that and banging into the ear is not what. Sir, so this is so not uh, only the one wave. So we have. There is a background sound in this. Where uh, a water, water drop, drop is happening. Uh, unfortunately, we are not uh, able to hear the sound. Hear the sound. The when each wave which comes, it is with a water drop water sound. Drop. When the water drop sound will come and hit to the hammer, then only it will vibrate. So it is synchronized with the water drop uh, sound. <laughs> this is not the single wave. Now this is the three-dimension view of the module. So student can understand properly. Now this process in details, sound hit then travels to the canal and to the nerves and to the brain. This is only the single uh, process, like you said one wave. Before there was the constant st sound was coming, that is why it was vibrating. Then we have only shown the one sound of wave and we have explained the process. Uh, we have also done some 2D animations, uh, one of the example of the state of the water, three states of the water. This is we are not able to uh, Like you can see, uh, with 3D, it will take too much time to animate. That is why we are using 2D for this animation. In left side, you can see the molecules. Those are done in 3D. So this is also important. Uh, the animation, uh, which, pro, uh, which software you want to use, uh, you want to make it in 3D or 2D. For this animation, we have used 2D because it will be more faster. In 3D, it will take too much time to animate uh, this process. Actually, there are chances of misconceptions here. As far as uh, fine details of subject is concerned, mm -hmm. as a physics person, if I see other food experiment with detail, I'll find many uh, pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, if not mistakes, then uh, even we can improve. Okay. Similarly here, it, it, it can create a concept like ki, in flowing water is just a layer of atoms. Okay. So this type of thing we should, we should take in one's mind while uh, animating a object yes. concept. This is a very nice concept like you said. No, but if the structure doesn't break down like Ah, that's it. There are chances of water will still have a molecular structure. Yes. Maybe each molecule is connected each to the other each molecule. Each molecule uh, sir, uh, but uh, don't uh, you think we for not, uh, we have not shown the bonding between the two molecules? Because we are just, we are just saying that right? yes, sir. Uh, we think the point is that a graphic artist cannot defend science. Yes. Don't take on that role. Uh -huh. No. Uh, Here we are yes. discussing science. Are, see, the session is about mm. helping all of us. Yes. yes. Sir. See the potential of animation. Yes. We are not discussing your work. Mm. This is not an evaluation board for you. <laughs> okay. So, so don't even get involved in that. We are saying if there is a potential. Hmm. for something to be shown using animation and by visualizing it, it is going to add meaning to what the student understands. Yes. Then the science has to be accurate in certain ways. Yes, sir. Okay. By bringing in, you know, it was very convenient for you to take a nice little neat stack array of uh, molecules, molecules. Like that and let it all collapse down. For my graphic artist's point of view, it was a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it collapsed the science. Yes. Okay. So we are discussing. You 
you can also be part of that discussion and say how else could it have been improved, how could the structure have still been retained, all that could have been asked. Sir, yes. that is our next point that... And, and, the, and the point that he mentioned yeah. about the code experiment. One in how many electrons hmm. are we talking about? Yes. Okay. So you just picked up that statement, or the SME picked hmm. up that statement written in normal history books of any kind, that yes. one in 100,000 know, particles will come back right back. <laughs> so only one particle came right back. What about all the other angles that were there? They were missing. So visualization actually adds to misconception. Yes. As long as the child is reading a paragraph, you are letting the child visualize. Less harm is done. By okay. animating it, we are creating more harm. So it is the, the artwork is great, the modeling is great, the rendering is great, the wireframes that you have made are very good. Okay, the compositing has been done very well. We are not discussing that, we are discussing science. And so, so the, that link that has to exist hmm. in what the SME gives and what finally gets in hmm. we need to strengthen that. And that's where the instructional design part of it is not as strong as it ought to be. Yes, sir. So maybe oh, they should have uh, mean, given some uh, some attention to the angle through which we are seeing. I mean, like the other one who was getting experiment, if I'm seeing from this the perspective, I cannot uh, see the slits. But if I go by this side and I have the slits like this, then I can see, okay, this ray of electron is passing through the slit. Because so it will help in this, uh, your M2 or different experiment also. So that's what our anyway, next I, point I, is. I don't, I don't believe we need to dwell. We are being unfair. Yeah. No, no. Uh, <laughs> sir, what? Uh, it, is, it is this part of the conversation hmm. is for us. Yes. What I'm suggesting is, we have to see some of these things. So, क्योंकि हम नहीं बना पाते, ठीक है? तो हमको लगता है कि यार इतना अच्छा बढ़िया चीज है इसको दिखा देंगे तो बच्चों को समझ आएगा, ओके? तो I believe all of us should be extremely careful about selecting which animation, which graphic, which model to use for what presentation. In the morning, in the morning we also looked at that fractional distillation thing जो YouTube में से देखे इन लोग बात कर रहे थे, वहाँ पर भी यही था problem कि किसी ने बहुत सुंदर बनाया है � uh, no, the whole problem is that, that there are limitations to what this medium can do. In this case, when we write our lesson, then we will keep a desire to keep an animation very quickly. If you think that it can be a very good idea, then we will do it. Then we will do it. Yes, sir. Sir, I will do it. Sir, I will do it. Sir, I will do it. Pictures for you to take a head and see whether we want it. How to get the learners involved? So, involvement is okay, but where the science and the mathematics are, I think that in mathematics or in science, it is a little difficult to get the idea of the content and the objective to deliver. It is a gap between the two and 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 the two पिक्चर दिखा करके इन्वॉल्व कर ले क्लास में, but so far as the content delivery is concerned and the understanding is concerned, so there may be gap between the outputs and the inputs. This is I want. Why do you always put it into a video? Why are you not holding it as an animation? Why why don't you put it out as a POV? Why not? Sir, we can upload this. I'm looking at the possibility that the same year model. Yeah. If I had given it to the teacher and say, increase the amount of, increase the volume of sound that is coming to this, or increase the frequency of the wave that is coming to what happens to this? Thing? Of course, it is going much beyond what Blender is capable of mm -hmm. right now, or what you are capable of explaining. <coughs> but that is where it will lead to science. Okay. Uh -huh. So if that handle is given to the teacher, and that there are controls for it and the teacher can handle it. The teacher would decide at what point in time I will allow this turning to happen and this wave to be visible, rather than it playing out on its own. So what's the role of the teacher in this class? The teacher starts the animation and <laughs> waits for it to be over. Okay. So whatever is coming wrong, the teacher has to accept, even if she knows it. 
And the fear is that there are lots of people who don't know that this is wrong. And that's where the danger comes. Children also don't know, teachers also don't know, so therefore we'll accept this because it's good to this color. Yes. Sir, the animations which you have created, the source file, the source file for this part have been are available on our website. And I'm, I'm talking about suggesting, suggesting, suggesting the suggesting making it inter text. making it interactive. Sir, we can uh, make it interactive also. You can uh, click on arrow, so you can move. You want to move in left side, or you want to uh, rotate in uh, right side in whichever speed you want to or you want to increase the sound or decrease the sound how uh, changes will happen with the hammer and canal it it can be doable we can make the interactive animations also how to make this animation you are not doing only simply whatever already prepared by you yes, yes. How, the steps what are the steps that you want to make this animation so there are uh, many steps actually. Uh, first, uh, yeah. okay. Sir, we have created one uh, template to how to create the animations using Blender. Sir, <laughs> those are only those tutorials will only give you an interface look. Those fifteen tutorials will only give you the basic how the what the software is about. But for the animation creation, like. First step is to create the sketches. sketches. Second is to create model. the models. Model. Third is to give material and texture, like colors and texture, so it can look how the ear is looking. It's a real example. Then lighting. Then you create a light, gives the appropriate light, so models. So you can take the output, the render output. And then you have to do the animation, like the visual changes which you need to do. Rendering, rendering to get the output and compositing. compositing. So you can uh, synchronize with uh, if you want to add some sound or some uh, text. If whatever text which has been added, it can be it is being added in compositing. So if you want to slow fast some part of the video or some part that is done in compositing. So, so first, first the sketching, sketches. then models, then we then get the reviews. If the model is okay, then uh, texturing, lighting. lighting then animation and after that a rendering we uh, do the compositing with audio and text yes, teacher, only, uh, we can learn the steps only <laughs> so, <can't create. laughs> so that's why we are here to create the animations <laughs> yeah for that part we are like whatever suggestions which we get as a uh, sir pointing out okay, there are mistakes in this and we would like to correct these mistakes for this, we are providing us with our email address and all these animations are also uploaded on YouTube as well. So if you search for Blender <coughs> IITB as a channel, all these animations are available. And this is the IITB Blender at gmail.com. This is maintained by us. You can give us your feedback and corrections. Yes. Yes, if you want to. Uh, so we can provide you with a source file, compositing files and animations have been created in Blender and Synfig. So we can give you the source file and you can do the editing on your part. Yes. You can give the suggest and suggestions, suggestions and we can improve the animations. And <laughs> one more part which would like to get you are offering the course on 9th standard CBAC and uh, 9th standard and uh, science and maths. So we are hoping that if you would like to have some animation in your mind, you want to some graphics, you want to create for the courses. So you can contact us in this email ID and we would be happy to help you out for the this part. Because this learning blender requires a much task. It's a two, three months of process of training someone in learning. We have a team here right now. We so also we can train people to uh, yeah. uh, understand blender. Yes. 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 And now that you have asked all these questions, we better be warned that the entire script has to go to them. Yes. Anything in the market for learning is fine. Yes. So that is the part which we are asking that if your suggestion you tell us, if you want to create some animation, you ask us that uh, Fatak sir has already asked that we can provide you with the sources and the uh, help which animation you require to make. Daisy learning these three days uh, since uh, the, the designing part is up to you. Yes. We being teachers our job is to uh, write the script. Yes. yes. So maybe that if you show us uh, the way because every uh, software or program they have us definite way of uh, writing. Yes. Yes. So if you show us or give them some templates or carry us back to our place, then 
then whenever we were sending something, we were sending that format. Uh, so sir, uh, I would suggest that the template which we have used for the creating of the eye, that is a standard template which we have followed for the creating of all the animation, as you have pointed out some of the mistakes. So if we give it to you, you can make the changes, the pointing out the changes and make the corrections and can give us the corrected one with the animation which you want to want us to create. The format of the yes. Uh, yes. 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 Maybe can we get uh, this uh, uh, hard copy of these ones? Sure. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hard, copy. Uh, hard copy and soft copy. Uh, uh, attempt. Attempt. Yes, sir. You just collect the uh, soft copy. Yes, sir. We'll be giving it to e outreach team, and it will be sending it to everyone, to all of you. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, yes, I'd like to add one thing. <coughs> Do not uh, take it our observation as the pointing out mistakes. Yes, sir. It's not mistake. Uh, just like teaching, there is no ultimate way of presenting anything. Mm. So we can create animation and we can go on improving, improving it, it again yes. and again. So initially, we can say that for explaining a com complex topic, we are using a beginner level animation. Yes. Then the next level, higher level, mm. and the next level. So difficulty level may increase in animation also. Yes. So we can create such type of animation, it's a level 1 animation. Yes. It is just to uh, clear out the complex topic, not, uh, yes. it's not required to go into fine details. Yes. Okay. And then we can add on and improve it for, for the, the higher uh, internal uh, So that's the point. The same concept uses, <laughs> uh -huh. the one animation, one, the still which we had shown you, that was a just a concept which he had asked to create for his CS101 class. For some other batch, he had asked us to create the detailed version of that yes. animation. Yes. So some higher part. Mm -hmm. So that process we are already following it. Do you have something like a discussion group on this so that we can also discuss the instructional design aspects? Uh, and it will be collaborated uh, so that we don't know really we can we make the discover yes. the same thing again and again. Uh, <laughs> sir, we don't have the discussion forum as such, but on the same email address. We can create a group and can discuss this over it. Google or group. Or on the Moodle, I guess, sir. So we, we, we create a form. Yes. We will call you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can we give them a given uh, for this? Yes, I think so. Thank you, sir. <laughs>